What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be starting to showcase some Series 3 teams, starting off with my favorite legendary in Generation 9, Shen Pao. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before I get started here with today's team preview, you guys know I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Scooteezy. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I tried this out on the casual ladder and I'm telling you guys, this team is absolutely broken. One of the best Shen Pal teams on the market at the moment. You guys will see in a little bit. But yeah, you got Shen Pao on this team. Again, really cool legendary Sabertooth Tiger with daggers as teeth. Looking insane. But you could pair it up with Choice Band Dragon Knight. And that's exactly what we're doing today. It has the Sword of Ruins ability, which lowers the defense of Pokemon on the field. So Dragon Knight can just translate into normal. Use E Speed to get that stab boost. And then have that Choice Band on top of that. And then on top of that, even more, the Swords of Ruin lowers the defense, like I already mentioned. And it's just crazy damage with first time priority. So I'm telling you guys, this team is broken. You guys definitely want to use it when Series 3 hits the ladder in a couple of days. But Shen Pao is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Like I already mentioned, Sword of Ruins as its ability, the Focus Ash as its item, and then it has Protect, Ice Spinner, Throat Chop, and Sacred Sword. And I know what a lot of you guys are probably wondering is like, yo, Jeans, why don't you have Sucker Punch on Shen Pao? Well, what happens if indeed he comes out on the field? Then we have a problem. Then the Psychic Surge will take away the Dragonite's E Speed and my Sucker Punch, so Scooteezy actually opted to go with Throw Chop, and I'm really liking this move set. We got Dragonite for our second Pokemon with Multi-Scale and the Choice Band as its item. It's got E-Speed like we already mentioned, Outrage, Facade, and EQ for its move set. Arcanine is going to be our third Pokemon, good old reliable right here, with Intimidate and the Citrus Berry, Rock and Flare Blitz, E-Speed, Will-O-Wisp, and Protect. We got Iron Hands for a Paradox Pokemon on today's team, it has Quirk Drive, Assault Vest, and then Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Fake Out, and Volt Switch. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Iron Hands is so strong on the ladder. Even in Series 3, it is still going to be viable and very strong on that ladder. We got Palafin as our fifth Pokemon. And Palafin's just so good all around. You can get, if you can uh, swap him in and out, you get him into the hero form. He can hit like a truck with first turn priority jet punches. Hits hard with wave crashes. It also learns Haze, which is awesome. Great for going up against Don Dozo teams or teams that just have like crazy stat boosts. And then this thing's last move is Protect. Did not mention its uh, item, it is going to be Mystic Water, just to give that water damage a little bit of a boost. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our support Pokemon, good old Amoongus. Really can't go wrong with this Pokemon, great in Trick Room, great outside of Trick Room. This one has Regenerator and the Rocky Helmet, and it has Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog, and Pollen Puff. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ladder, look to grab some wins with this Shen Pal team. So guys, we're obviously hopping onto the casual ladder because Series 3 does not start until a couple days. We want to start showcasing Series 3 teams, so once Series 3 does release, you guys have teams that are already rented and ready to go for this series. But we're going up against, I forget this Pokemon's name. I gotta learn the Legends of Ruin's name. I pretty much only know two, Shen Pao and Chi Yu. And a little Firefish, I know the other one. But we have these two other ones that I've been seeing a lot in like tournament play. And I forget what they do. I think one of them lowers special attack and one of them lowers special or physical attack, right? I'm almost positive that's how it is. But they also have Glamora. They have Dantozo and Tatsugiri. So this might be a nice time to bring out Palfin. And then they also have the Fluttermate. Lovely little Fluttermate and Arcanine. I forgot to mention Arcanine. But I might just go Palfin turn one. Palfin's going to be great, especially if we get Haze out there. I could really, really like it. So I'm going to go Palfin. I'm also going to go... Do I go Dragonite or do I go Shen Pao for the lead? I could go Shen Pao. I could definitely go Shen Pao, which I'm kind of leaning towards, right? Shen Pao is lovely. It is a lovely little Pokemon. But that Slug Pokemon right there, I'm pretty sure lowers attack. So that could really help him out. That can really, like, cancel out our defense drops. Hmm. Do I lead the Shen Pao? I say we lead the Shen Pao. I really want Shen Pao out there. Or I can go into Pokemon like you. Fake out. All that good stuff. What is my play? I am gonna go Shen Pao, and I'm just gonna bring my boy right here, Dragonite, and last but not least, I think we're gonna go Iron Hands. Yep, Iron Hands gonna be our final Pokemon. Let's lock it in and lock it down and look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But it's kind of cool that we're going up against another Legends of Ruins team and a really strong team on the casual ladder. Pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. Just so, like, better for the content. <laughs> and, uh,. And we're not just going, just going up against easy teams all day. But they're going to end up leading... Okay, Glamour and Arcanine. Really do us a little bit dirty. I could haste her one. I could definitely haste her one. 
But yeah, we can the defense of every single Pokemon around us. Really solid for me. Uh, I would probably just like to flip turn here or hard swap. Right, I don't even think I have flip turn. I think I just hard swap here. Into Iron Hands or even Dragonite. I like Dragonite. Let's go straight into Dragonite because we can ease speed with this on the field. And I could protect here. I could definitely protect, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just straight up protect here. Try to get out this E speed Pokemon and get ripping. We got the choice ban on top of that. I really like that. I really like that. So we're going to bring out the Dragonite. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we're going to see a Thrasilization from our opponent. But something I forgot to mention. It is my birthday today. I'm feeling good. I want to get some wins. I definitely want to grab you guys a winning record. But yeah, having a great day so far. My mom's out, out in the kitchen right now making me my birthday dinner. Getting ready for that. I got plans with the boys. Plans for recording. And I'm planning to play some more video games tonight. So I'm going to have a good day today. Gonna have a good day. And just, just a thank you in advance for all the birthday wishes. But Arcanine ends up going for the Flare Blitz, which I kind of figured. And you change into Grass type and go for an Energy Ball. I'm really fine with that. But I brought out a nice little multi-skill Pokemon. Arcanine can do some big time damage with Ice Speed. Ice Spinner can pretty much KO the Glamora. And we have Focus Sash as well. So I'm just gonna, gonna Terrasilize. I'm gonna Ice Speed into Arcanine. And Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. Lovely little Ice Spinner. So let's see what our opponent ends up doing. They end up staying in here. So now we're going to showcase the power of Shen Pao and the power of Dragonite together. I'm telling you guys, this is insane. It is insane. We might actually not be able to kill the Arcanine because Arcanine is so bulky. But I wouldn't be surprised if we do anyway. I'm telling you guys, this combo is insane. And Shen Pao hits hard on its own. So E-Speed's flying through here. Dragonite's hitting. And look at that. That's an e That's a first turn priority move on an Arcanine. Neutral. It is neutral. First turn priority move on that thing. Ice Spinner's gonna come out here. Rip into Glamora. Do some big time damage. And there goes the Toxic Spikes. I hate this game. I hate the Toxic Spikes. <laughs> I hate the Toxic Debris. The Flare Blitz probably gonna come out here. No, you're gonna Willow Wisp me. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind that. So you keep my Shen Pao at full HP. You keep my Shen Pao. Well, Glamora might be going after it. Let's see how this one plays out here. And yeah, Glamora goes after it with the Power Gem. Which is totally fine. It's gonna be super effective. Bring us down to Sash. So we are brought down the Sash. We have speed up against these guys, which is solid for us. And I can just E-speed. I mean, he can also E-speed. He can also E-speed, but I'm going to E-speed and hopefully move first. So E-speed is going to come out here. I could also protect just so I can keep Shen Pao out here. That might be my play. Yeah, I'm just going to protect just in case that Arcanine's rocking E-speed on its own. And okay, it's just going to withdraw here. That's fine. That's actually fine. So he's going to withdraw and save the Intimidate. And you're going to bring out your Pokemon, the Slug Guy. Tablets of Ruin weakens the attack of all Pokemon. That's that's like pretty much counter to me. So it weakens the attack, the defense already weakened, so I'm pretty sure it neutrals out, right? I'm pretty sure everything is back to neutral. And I think it's bulky too, a little slug. It goes for an energy ball, we block it. So I can get rid of Glamora. I'm pretty sure Shen Pao is faster than that Pokemon. And I forget what typing that thing is. I really do. This thing is leftovers. A little bit of leftovers action. Shen Pao is minus one, I'm pretty sure, too. From Intimidate early on in this match. But again, we still have our boy. We still have Palfin ready to rock. We still have Palfin. But what typing is this little slug? What, what typing are you? Dark and Grass. Okay. So you already opted to, to Terrasilize. Um, E-Speed should KO Glamora. And I'm thinking of just Ice Spinnering you. I mean, I could Sacred Sword. What would do more damage? Ice Spinner would. So I'm just going to go Ice Spinner. I'm going to chip up as much damage as I possibly can. And he opts for a great protect. That's actually solid protect. But I love the Slug's eyes. If you can look at it, it's up at like where its antlers are at. Like the little sticks. It looks pretty cool. If we go into that, I can definitely see Arcanine coming back out here. Toxic Debris is out and about. So this is actually a really cool combo. We, we could end up losing this match. We could definitely end up losing this match. Considering Palfin. Mm, not too good up against that. We also have... Uh, we do have our our electric boy, but he's not too good up against this this thing. So we gotta we gotta start targeting down this, this Pokemon right here. We gotta start targeting down, and I can definitely see him going into. Uh, I can definitely see him going into Arcanine at this point. So Arcanine is probably gonna come out here. I'm gonna hope that an E Speed can KO it, and then we'll just go from there. So Arcanine, right? Yeah. Arcanine comes out here, and. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I gotta e-speed it, right? I gotta e-speed this thing. And I'm thinking just hard swapping Shen Pao. Shen Pao could be good for later usage, but then I get poisoned. But then I do get poisoned. 
Don't I have facade on you? Oh, yeah, I do have facade. That's actually really good. I might end up hard swapping both. I'm going to hard swap the Arcanine. Or not the Arcanine, the Dragonite. I'll take a poison here. I'll take a poison. Hmm. I'm going to hard swap you just so I can choice into facade. It could be really good for us. Uh, I'm going to be able to choice into facade and I'm just going to go into an ice spinner because I think Arcanine might even protect here. So switching out our Dragonite. Switching out our lovely Dragonite. Wow, this is a solid battle. This is a great battle. So obviously the poison from Toxic Breed is out and about. That's fine. We're going to zero the hero. And we'll go from there. So ice spinner should come in here. Not going to pick up the KO, but still do a little bit of damage. Not bad, not bad. I like it. I get down, and Snarl's gonna fly here, so Snarl KOs you, and please don't be going for a grass move. Please do not be going for a grass move, I need you. I need you. I need you, what are you going for? Elite Seed, oh no. He's gonna protect this turn, 100%. Wow, yo, Elite Seed coming out and about. So we're definitely gonna go back into Dragonite, Facade's gonna be our friend. Um, Yeah, that's gonna have to be the place. Facade's gonna be our friend here. So we're going to choice ban into Facade. Facade could do some big time damage. And Palfin's going to take slowly be chipping away damage. Because what's called could actually end up protecting here. Both of them. So I'm just going to jet punch into the Arcanine slot for the KO. And then Facade into the other slot. So yeah, that's our play all day. So jet punch there. Choicing into Facade now. And we're going straight after this, this thing. And now I'm seeing why this Pokemon is this strong because I haven't seen it like used in tournament plays, but I've never actually seen it like in person. I just seen like people are using it, but this Pokemon's a real deal. Pokemon's a real deal. He ends up withdrawing the Arcanine, saving it for later. Probably gonna hard swap into it after this, and he goes into its final Pokemon. It's gonna be Fluttermane. Fluttermane. Fluttermane's terrifying. A little bit of Pro Synthesis on that. We don't like that one bit. Speed's heightened. We do have E speed, we do have all that stuff. But Jet Punch going to oh do more than half, which is huge. And facade's gonna come out here. Lovely little facade. How much damage are you doing with facade? Oh yes, sir. Great swap on my end. Facade coming out here. And the reason why facade's so strong is when you are burned or have any status condition on you, it does double damage. So instead of us being weakened right there, it was double damage. Plus we had a stab on top of that. GG's. That pretty much wraps up the match. Because now he's gonna have to be forced to go into Arcanine. We can E speed. We can clean this up. The ruins are off now, I believe now, which is really good for us. And I know Jet Punch should KO Fluttermane. Jet Punch should KO Fluttermane and E speed. Oh no, we can't E speed anymore. So I'm just gonna go for another facade. I'm just gonna go for a facade, but yeah, it's pretty much wraps, right? Pretty much wraps. Cause I do have Assault Vest on Iron Hand, so Fluttermane can't kill it in one shot. But yo, what a first match from your boy. What a first match. And our opponent played really good. Got to showcase the Legends of Ruin Pokemon. Going at it with each other. And we kind of had the ones that just countered each other. So it was actually pretty cool to actually showcase that. The Palafin takes out Fluttermane. Flare Butt's going to come in here. re soak that up all day. And a big time facade. A big time facade is going to KO. And actually, did Recall just KO? No, it didn't. Brought it down to red. Facade comes out from Dragonite. And Dragonite is ripping. Takes it out. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get us started. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Series 1 team. I remember vividly seeing this team in Series 1. It's still very strong, but I feel like Shen Pao is going to rip. They got Garchomp. They also have Gardevoir, Murkrow to set up Tailwind, and then they got Golden Ghost, Skelly Dirge, and last but not least, rocking out with Amoongus. We could go Shen Pao Dragonite. Definitely a good option. I kind of really want to do that. Like, pretty much just, like, wrap up the match and just, again, showcase how strong this combo is when there isn't, like, another Re Legends of Ruin Pokemon countering it. So I feel like this is the play, but I am kind of scared of Murkrow picking up speed. But at that point, we just have first-turn priority when we're ripping into uh, our opponents. So I'm kind of with that. So we're going to go Shen Pao. We are going to go Dragonite. Uh, Arcanine could be also solid here. I do like Palafin, but I would rather lead the Palafin. But I'm going to go Iron Hands. And do I go Amoongus for a bit of support? Or do I go in with Arcanine? Because Arcanine could be super effective onto the Golden Go. But I'm not too worried about Golden Go. I'm going to go Amoongus. I am going to go lovely little Amoongus. I feel like Shen Pao and Dragonite are going to, to do a bunch of the heavy lifting. So let's rip into it. But yeah, another way to kind of counter this combo right here is just going to be straight up in DD and Psychic Surge. But that will only counter for one turn because then you could uh, Icy Wind. Or not Icy Wind. Ice Spinner. Take out Terrain. Or you could just straight up throw a chop and just kind of hit through the Terrain. 
that's really up to you with, at that point. But still, this combo is really, really, really insane. You're going to be seeing all over the ladder. All over the ladder when uh, Series 3 comes out. But they're going to end up leading Murkrow and Goldingo. Goldango. Goldango. Golden Go. And from here, I just feel like I have to throw a choppy, right? And I could Terrasalize into Facade, but E-Speed's going to be the play. E-Speed is definitely going to be the play. And I don't mind if he goes for a Tail and make it rain. I have Focus Ash, Dragon Eye has Multiscale. And that pretty much wraps it up, right? I'm, I'm totally fine with taking damage here. Because if I can get rid of both of them, wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. But we end up Terrasalize and Dragonite and Chen Pao just going to do work again today. Going to do some more work here. The Goldango protects. What are you going for, Murkrow? That's a real question. What are you going for? Not a Talon. You're going for a foul play? What are you going for exactly? Because E-Speed's going to fly here and just take you out. You're not going for anything. We got a crit there. It might have been taking him out regardless, but yo, I'm telling you, this combo is just game, set, match. Best Shen Pao team right here. The best. But dude, Shen Pao looks so sick. It has like icicle gems on it, but just look at it from the front. The, the sword teeth are incredibly sick. They are insanely sick. I'm just going to throat chop you here. And guess what else I'm doing, guys? I'm e-speeding into the guard for SWAT. <laughs> I'm e-speeding in that. Golden Go might even uh, terrestrialize here. I can definitely see that being an option. But I feel like we're thriving. So, yeah, there's going to be terrestrialization here. I don't think Gardevoir survives this shot unless it's sashed. And we're just going to be able to roll out strong. So, yeah, there's terrestrialization in the straight steel. Gardevoir might even protect. And if it protects, it, it protects. It's not that big of a deal. I do have a fighting move for that Golden Go too, which is solid for us. But E Speed's gonna fly. Let's see. Let's see if we can have this thing. Oh my lord, yo, chill, chill, yo, this combo too strong. <laughs> Absolutely ripping into Pokemon. Throw Chop comes out here, doing half damage, and you're gonna go for a Make It Rain. And luckily, we're going up against Special Attackers, so we're able to soak pretty well. So Multi Skill helps Dragonite soak up, and like I said, we have Focus Ash, and this match is. Raps. It is wraps because he's gonna bring out the next Pokemon. I could probably kill it with an E-Speed and then I'm just going to uh, Secret Sword and finish off that Pokemon. Game, set, match, wraps. Ooh, actually, we're in a little bit of trouble here. It's not wraps just yet. I'm gonna protect Shen Pao just in case uh, Golden Go protects. And I'm going to hard swap into you. Because I need a different move from him. We cannot hit that thing with normal moves. I could just uh, sacrifice Amoongus here. Might be my best bet. Might definitely be my best bet. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sacrifice my Amoongus here. God dang, Ghost Skelly Dirge comes out here and ruins all the E-Speed fun. So now I need to swap to reset my Choice Band so I can turn it into EQ and finish off that Pokemon. So I'm just going to protect the Chen Pao just to keep that uh, Legends of Ruins out here. And we're hoping he kind of just KOs the, uh, the Amoongus. Maybe with the Fire Move. Be pretty cool. Let's see. The other judge goes for a protect. And it fails. Why did that fail? Because it was last turn. I think it did fail because it was last turn protect. But from here, Sacred Sword going to come out here. And I'm just going to rage powder the shot. So I'm just going to rage powder the shot just so I keep my Shen Pao alive. Shen Pao will outspeed the Golden Go. Take out the Golden Go. No problem. See you later. And then Skelly is just going to be forced to go into... Amoongus. So Shen Pao should be able to survive this whole match and then we should be able to finish it up. Awesome dope. Torch Song coming in here. That's totally fine. You should be able to actually soak one. Yeah, you do. You do soak one. And now I'm just going to be ripping throat chops. It's game set match. It is game set match. Because my boy's just going to take it out in one shot. I'm going to Rage Powder again. And Skelly Dirge ends up protecting. That's totally fine. I don't really know how that helps you out. But it does. It does. Rage Powder coming out here. I love how Rage Powder looks. He just puffs his little dust in the air. <laughs> He's just like, yo, Rage Powder. Everybody come after me. He's going to block this Throat Chop. I'm going to send it again. I'm going to Rage Powder yet again. And this match is over. This match is over. Not surviving the shot. Your defense is lowered. And yeah, Shen Pao's super effective. End of stab. And he has a high physical attack stat. And he actually survives it. Wow, that's wild. Granted, Skelly, there's a little bit bulk here. High HP. But no sweep for us, because we know Torch Song's going to come out here. And Throw Chop. Oh, Throw Chop prevented him from using... Oh, <laughs> Throw Chop prevented him from using Torch Song. That's hilarious. 
That is hilarious, but I was gonna go, go into clear smog just so we don't waste the animation or the time for the animation for Rage Powder. But yo, Throat Chop took out Torch Song and our opponent cancels the match. Final match coming at you guys, and we are going up against an Arm Rouge team without Ndidi. I kind of want to go up against an Arm Rouge and Ndidi team, but it's all good. They also have Miascarada, they have Palafin just like us, then they have Annihilate, Glamora, and Kilowatchel. So honestly, I can just rip into our opponent with Shen Pao Dragonite, right? It would be so easy for me to just rip into this game and say GG's, right? But I don't want to do it for the third consecutive battle. So we're going to be switching up a little bit. We definitely still want to bring Shen Pao. We might still bring Dragonite in the back end. But I'm going to end up leading a Pokemon like Iron Hands, right? I do like Iron Hands here. Or Nidon, I'm going to get Palafin in here just to swap a turn one. And I might lead Shen Pao. Do I lead Shen Pao? Or do I lead a different Pokemon? Maybe Intimidate? I don't want to be going up against uh, Annihilate, right? Annihilate's a little bit of a problem, so... I'm just going to go into these two. I am going to bring Shen Pao, and I think I'm just going to bring Amoongus. I think I'm just bringing Amoongus. <clears throat> really good. And Palafin also works really, really well with Shen Pao, if you can get him out at the same time. Kind of tough because, you know, you got to swap Palafin, get him out there. It takes a little bit, whereas Dragonite, you can just lead it with. But if you can get Shen Pao and Palafin out there, really OP too, because you can just try slicing water, hit your jet punches with that defense drop, plus you have the Mystic Water on top of that. You can absolutely rip. You can absolutely rip. It's actually stronger than the Dragonite combo if you're holding choice ban. But again, problem is setting it up is a little, a little a little bit harder. You can't just lead. You can't just lead it. Let's see who our opponent ends up leading. And it's going to be Glamora and Armorous. Glamormora and Armorous. So I can just throw chop into that when I get my Chen Pao out there. But for now, it just seems like a fake out into the Armorous slot and just a hard swap, right? Hard swap into Amoongus, maybe. I kind of like the hard swap into a Moogus. Not even gonna lie. What do I hard swap into Shen Pao? I could just straight up hard swap into Shen Pao. I kind of like that. I want to hard swap into Shen Pao. And I'm just going to fake out the armor slot. So we're going to hope that Lemora's not going after my Shen Pao slot, which it probably is going for a Mortal Spin just to get the poison on the both Pokemon. But if it's not, that's huge considering we keep our Focus Ash. But Palafin is gone. We're gonna, we're gonna swap it out, or swap it right off the rip, and we're gonna go from there. But that's what I've been seeing with a lot of Palafins recently. It's not Rock and Flip turn. They've just been relying, relying on the hard swap. So we go for Fake Out, we chip up some nice damage. Weak Armor is going to actually boost this in speed. I kinda don't like that. And this thing goes for a gleam. Ooh, that, that hurts. Ow, hey, yo, chill. Chill, chill, chill. So from here, I might just protect you. And what is your speed at? You're plus two. Yeah, we have to protect you. And Iron Hands, can you try to take that thing out? <laughs> I need that thing gone. So we're just going to go into this. I didn't even Terrasize. It does not. So I end up protecting the Shen Pao. Should be fine here. Spiky Shield's going to come out here. And yeah, we, we should be able to take out, take out Armor. no problem. It goes for a lava plume. A lava plume. It's pretty wild. But yeah, defense is down, not special defense, so that's gonna be big for Shen Pao. Or for my team, considering they're special attackers. We were able to soak up a lava plume without a soul vest. And of course you get the burn! Just what I wanted. For me to be burned. Wild charge is going to fly here. Does not KO, kinda hurts soul. And weak armor's down about. I might hard swap Shen Pao. I might hard swap Shen Pao. I might hard swap Shen Pao. I really want him for later. I really want Shen Pao for later. So what I'm thinking here is actually just hard swapping Shen Pao into a Moogus, sacrificing a Moogus. I could go into you. Now I'm going to sacrifice my Moogus here. I'm going to sacrifice my Moogus. So we're going to do that. I am going to... Mm. I just want to get rid of armors more so than anything. This thing's too fast right now. It's plus four. It's plus four. So if it goes for another Lava Plume, it goes for another Lava Plume. Again, if I could just get out Shen Pao and Palfin at the same time, I'm pretty sure we can just we can just rip this battle up. The Lava Plume comes through here. We're able to soak. And again, Iron Hands. Can you just get rid of this armor? And can you eat that? You do. I love you. Assault Vest clutching up. So now we're sitting here. We take out Armors. We are going to bring out, I think Palafin's going to be playing. We're going to save our Shen Pao. Because I'm just going to Rage Pao the shot. Have Amoongus eventually go down. And then we'll just go from there. 
It's a play. It's a play all day. It's a play all day. Because like I said, if we get out Shen Pao and Palafin, we can get some work done. So I'm going to bring out Palafin now in its hero form, in its finest of forms. And we're going to look to complete this comeback. And of course, you are rocking out with Annihilate. So Annihilate coming out here. A little scary. Definitely a little bit scary. And we're hoping it's not Choice Scarf for Annihilate. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. But you could end up going for a spiky shield here. I am kind of scared of that. But I'm going to say you don't. Actually, you probably are. I should have went after Annihilate. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So we're just going to rage power the shot. We're going to go after Glamora. Punch it right in the face. We are going to trigger Toxic's Debris. But again, if we could just get rid of that thing, I would really like what we're saying. There's the spiky shield. That one hurts. Does that still trigger Toxic Debris? I'm really curious about that. Rage powder's flying. And we'll see what... Annihilate wants to go for. Annihilate, what are you going for? Can you just... Actually, I don't care if you KO my Amoongus or not. It don't really matter. Halfin takes some damage from Spiky Shield and... Oh! Not cool. Not cool. Not cool one bit. Not cool one bit. Not cool one bit. Okay, so from here we could Jet Punch again. Uh, but I think I'm just going to Rage Powder Haze. Not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. I'm hazing that down. We need, we need that down. We just kind of want him to take out my Amoongus this turn. And then go from there. Not cool. Not cool going for bulk ups. That's exactly why we have Haze. And yo, look at my boy standing up like this. He's like, hey, yo, you want some of this? You want some of this? Palvin's ready to rip. He's ready to rip. But our opponent's actually playing really good. Like I said, we could have just ripped into him with a Dragonite and Shen Pao early on. But I didn't want to do that again. I did not want to do that again. So I kind of went into something different and it's, it's not working out too hot for us. <laughs> it's not working out too hot for us. But we go for another Rage Powder. We're looking to make this comeback. Haze is going to come out here. We're saying, hey, yo, your bulk up's not, not happening here. Hopefully he's not going for another bulk up. Hopefully he's just attacking me. Yep, Drain Punch coming in here. We're able to actually soak that really well. And Rocky Helmet's going to do damage, which is beautiful. And Sludge Bomb's going to fly. And he finally KOs. Okay, so now we're sitting here. Toxic Debris on out. We have Focus Ash. I don't like where we're sitting. I feel like I just terrestrialized my Palafin, right? I feel like we have to terrestrialize our Palafin. So we're going to go into my lovely little Shinpao. We we saved him for the back end. Oh, we don't have Focus Ash. I totally forgot. <laughs> we, we took damage early on there. Shinpao out and about. But we're not poisoned, which is big time. Defense is dropped. We still have Terra. I could Terra into fighting. I could just protect you. Which is going to be my play. I'm going to protect you. And I'm going to terrestrialize you into straight water. And I'm just going to go for a jet punch. But I do think you're going to potentially spiky shield again. It's definitely an option. But I can see him spiky shielding and then going into a KO hit onto my... Onto my Shen Pao. So we're going to terrestrialize you. Drop some jet punches. The defenses are down. This is stab. This is terrestrialize boost. This is mystic water boost. We like it. We like it a lot. So, Shen Pao protects. Are we going to see a spiky shield come out here? Potentially, right? No, we do not. No spiky shield comes out here. And we're going straight after Annihilate. And oh my god, that's some big time damage. Drain Punch is going to fly through it. We're going to block that shot. And what are you going for, Glamora? Glamora, what are you going for? A Sludge Bomb over in that side, which you should be able to soak. No poison? Sick. Okay, cool. So, from here, we're definitely jet punching the uh, Glamora slot. And then we're going for the third chop to KO that other slot. Because I know this should KO the uh, the Glamora. It's super effective. Should have no problem. But if you spiky shield, you spiky shield. It's not that big of a deal. I do like what we're saying. But yo, look how sick he looks. You guys saw that? He looks insanely cool. He looks insanely cool. Insanely cool. But now we got out the combo that we want. I, does, do they still have four Pokemon or did we take one out? Did we take one out? I can't even remember. Did we take out one of his Pokemon? I don't even know if we did. Oh, we took out Armors. We took out Armors. I feel like we have a hot shot at win this match, right? I feel like we have a hot shot at win this match with this combo right here. There's Terrasalization. That might do us a little dirty. That might do us a little dirty. What typing are we Terrasalizing into? Lamora into what? Poison. Straight Poison Lamora. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. We still might care. I don't know. Jet Punch coming hot here. We don't KO, so that was a great terror from them. Toxic Debris fall. It don't really matter. We're not swapping in and out. 
And Throat Chop should come in here and pick up the KO with Annihilate, which it does. So I wonder who you're going after now. I do wonder, because you pretty much pick up the KO on whoever you want, right? Gleam comes out here. Is that double kill? It's a single kill. Okay. So we know we can eat up another Gleam. I feel like we just have to jet punch whatever slot it is, but I don't think we can pick up a KO. I think we lose this match. I think we lose this match. It's going to be Miyashi. Yep, we lose this match. We lose this match. GG, well played. I'm going to keep my lovely little pal Finn alive. We ended up losing this last battle. Did not lead the Pokemon that we should have, but we were trying out something different. But 2-1 for today's video. Absolutely showcased the best Shen Pao team. So guys, there is a lovely 2-1 winning record for today's video. Rocked out on the casual ladder, got to showcase Shen Pao and absolutely both of them. I'm telling you guys, this team is going to be, ma be amazing. When Series 3 hits, considering you got the Shen Pao, you got the Dragonite, lead them both and just e-speed away and it's pretty much game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.